Hey guys, today I want to show you how I built a new feature in an AI-based tool. The goal is to show you the struggle, the thought process, and ultimately the solution I implemented. A few months ago, I built a tool named Lazy Coder. It's a simple CLI written in Python to assist developers in common coding tasks that can easily be automated with AI. The first feature I built in Lazy Coder was pull request generation. You give it a repository name and a pull request ID, and it will generate the pull request for you based on the code diff between the target branch and the pull request branch. It can even follow a template that you specify. Recently, I wanted to add a new feature to the CLI. Generate readme.md files for a Git repository automatically using AI. As a short teaser, here is the final result of today's video. Here you can see the new lazy coder command in action. As always, it's available on GitHub. The link is in the description. You can also install lazy coder and give it a try. When you code a nice project, Making a good readme is a necessary step to produce share your work and let people understand how it works and maybe how to contribute. All the information is already there in the Git repository. The code, the various project files. So it makes sense that an AI that looks at all this information could generate a good readme, especially since models like GPT-4 have a good common knowledge that would recognize the code, the frameworks, and so on. Maybe the AI will like a bit of context, but you can take the output that it generates, so the readme, and just make some slight addition to make it perfect, gaining a lot of time. So that's the idea. I want a command like this one. Lazy coder, readme, generate, and the path to the repository. At a high level, it should first list all the files in the git repository, exclude all the files from the git ignore, and somehow load all the file content, feed it to the AI, and get the generated readme. But we have one main problem. As you might know, large language models like GPT-4 have a limited context, meaning that they can process a limited amount of text in one go. For the GPT-4 API version, it's 8K token right now, but you can go up to 32K if you have beta access. 8K token is already a lot, but for large repositories, it's likely that we will go beyond this limit. If we feed all the files, all the code, and all the text, in a single prompt. So what can we do? First of all, it's important to realize that we don't need the entire content of each file to generate the readme. A simple summary of each file containing only the relevant information is sufficient. It will likely be much smaller than the original file. Doing so would solve the context problem, but how can we get a summary of each file? And again, we can use AI. The idea is to have a preliminary step where we summarize each file using ChatGPT. Then we concatenate all the summaries into one context and we ask the AI to generate the readme. It's a form of prompt chaining. We fit the result from a previous generation into the text of the next prompt. In our case, we feed all the summaries that we generated into the last prompt that we generated the readme file. But we have a last problem. What if a file in the code base is too big? so big that we can't fit it into the context to generate a summary. Even if it's not likely, we would like to deal with this problem. And again, we can use prompt chaining. There are two common ways to do it. The first one is to split the text into chunks, summarize each chunk, and then combine all the results into a final prompt that will produce the final summary. The second one also breaks the text into chunks, but it starts to produce the final summary with the first chunk. And then for each additional chunk, it will refine the answer incorporating new information. The first approach is known as map reduce. We map all the chunk of text to a summary and then we reduce all the summaries to a final summary by combining the answers. The second approach is known as refining. We generate a first answer using the first chunk and then we refine it, making it better and better as we incorporate new information. Okay, so we have a plan. First, we list all files in the repository and we exclude the patterns from the git ignore. Then we generate a summary for each file. Ideally, we would like this step to run in parallel to make it faster. At this stage, if the file is small enough to fit into the context, we just send it to the AI to get the summary. If the file is too big, we break it down into smaller chunks and we use prompt chaining to summarize it, either using mapreduce or a refine. Finally, we aggregate all the summaries into one text prompt and generate the readme file. And that's the solution I finally implemented. So let's take a quick look at the key code components. First, we create a Python generator that will yield the path of the file we would like to consider. If you remember, we want to ignore files that match pattern from the git ignore. But here we also provide a way to add additional patterns to ignore from the command line. We open the git ignore file and we append all the patterns into a list. 
then we concatenate with the user provided patterns. Finally, we initialize the passpake library with the list of ignored patterns. It will help you to filter the files based on the git ignore. Then we iterate over all the files in the repository. We filter based on the patterns and we return the content of each file. Now we create the summarize file function. It takes as input the OpenAI key as credentials and the file content as a string. Then we use prompt chaining to summarize the text. If you remember, if the file is too big, we need to first split it into chunks and then use a technique like MapReduce or Refining to summarize it. In this particular case, I chose the Refine technique. Now we create the Generate README function. This function takes the credentials, the repo path, and the user ignore patterns. It will call the functions we created before to generate the readme file. The first step here is to call our function that iterates over all the file paths, exclude the ignored files, and return us all the contents. Then we measure the amount of tokens contained in each file, and we display them in a table, so the user can estimate the price and validate the operation or not. The next step is to summarize each file by calling our summarizing function. We finalize the process by loading the prompt for the readme generation, and then we make a call to OpenAI with the summary of each file. This will return us the generated readme that we can display in the terminal. Now you just need to copy it, edit it, and you have a readme ready to rock.